Hey everybody, I'm Jay. This is um, my personal channel, Estrogator, and I'm going to be doing some reviews of some products. Um, and my first product I'm going to review is going to be some binders. Um, don't email me. I already have a home for these, so I just wanted to do them so they can go to their home. Um, but anyway, um, the first one I'm going to do is the Love Boat Air Max. Um, this is, um, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about this first. Uh, Love Boat is a company, I believe it's in Taiwan. Um, so there's a negative right there. All the, the, your shipping is going to be international. Um, and in most ca of our cases, it's going to be pretty far. If you live in Australia, maybe not so bad. But um, anyway, um, so um, this is actually a pretty expensive binder. Um, I am going to kind of give that a negative just because it's so, it's going to be out of reach for a lot of guys. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do the review. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, I'm going to put the uh, links down on the bottom, but anyway, here's um, this binder. It's long. Um, this was important to me because I just don't like the feeling of it being right here, um, and I don't like any of the closures that would put them, you know, there. Um, so um, this does not bind the stomach. I have another binder that binds in the stomach. I feel it's nasty. It's a really nasty feeling, um, but some other people might be okay with that. Um, this has a little bit of, like, I don't know if you're familiar with Under Armour shirts. They're, like, for hiking and that kind of thing. That's about how much binding this does in the stomach. Um, so, okay, we have the front of this is, is like a the binder part. It's got a little logo. These help in positioning your uh, binder, which is nice. Um, and then the back is this mesh kind of thing. Now, it's cooler. I wouldn't say cool because you still have the front of the binder that's sticking to you. So, not really cool. Um, um, I... This does not scream binder. I used to wear them so that um, you have a little bit of shirt uh, binder right here. And it just looks like a regular undershirt. They're very nicely made. They, um, they're expensive, as I said. But all the seams are finished. Um, it's got This one has a gray on the inside, which is what I don't think they do that anymore. I think they're white, which is, I think, not as nice. Um, but all the seams here are finished. And you can't really tell, but the binding stops around mid-body. So, um, it's not, they're not too, I'm going to show some pictures. Actually, I don't think I have one of me actually wearing the binder. Um, maybe I do. I'll see if I do. I'm going to put some uh, uh, pictures at the end so you just kind of can see. Um, so, um, you know, you can see what it looks like. Size. Um, this is an Asian size. I actually think Asian sizes are different, but I don't know what they are. I've never seen, like, this is like, and that might be something to check on if you ever want to order from them. Um, to see what the sizes are, you know, what's, um, I, they give you a guide on the page. I don't know how good it is. Um, I didn't find it helpful for, for, for me. I just had to, I made a lot of mistakes, let's just say. Um, sorry. I'm autistic, so I really ordered way big. I mean, I think this is extra large or extra, extra large. Strange, yeah. Never in my life do I ever wear extra large anything. So it's kind of funny. Um, but I, I'm i more sensitive to compression and pressure and all that sort of thing than average because of being autistic. So um, anyway. 
So the pictures, at, if I have a picture of me wearing a binder, I'll put that first. Then I have a picture of the binder under a shirt. You can see how that looks. Um, and then I have a picture of me not, um, no binder. I think there's an undershirt or something. I'm not sure. And then, um, and then me wearing the, this binder. I think you can see it does not too bad a job. I, it did not do a perfect job to me. That wasn't really real critical, but some people would be not be happy with that. Um, it, it was kind of more important that I had a little bit of binding and more comfort versus a lot of binding and less comfort, but that was just me. Um, so my little, um, I'm going to do a little re short reviews at the very end. Um, so the way I break it down is this. Price and value are, um, I give it three and a half stars. I think because of the price, it's just so steep. Um, I don't know that it's not worth it, but I just think it puts it out of the range of being uh, something that a lot of guys could buy. Um, you know, you kind of have to be really pretty middle class and all that. Um, and I know a lot of guys, trans guys are not, so, you know, that's what I'm going to do. Um, comfort, I'd say five, you know, for a binder, that's very comfortable. Uh, durable, I don't really know, but this is, I think they would last a couple years, two, three years. Um, so that's with the finished seams and it did, didn't stretch out a lot um you know from when i got it in my opinion i don't think it did um i've heard that's an issue with under works is that they um stretch out a lot um and then binding i'm going to say three and a half i don't know if that's fair um i don't think they're really useful if you are like love boat at all are useful if you're over about a C cup. C cup, if you want to check that out, that's a ratio between under and over, you know, so um, you can find out if you don't ever wear them, which um, some guys I know don't. So anyway, well, thanks very much for watching and take a look at my regular videos and my other reviews. Thanks.